Muzyka Jacques Offenbach's Fantasio is back on the opera stage in Paris at the Théâtre du Châtelet. With a libretto by the de Musset brothers, its score was long thought lost in a fire, but it was recently pieced together to its original state. Fantasio is a comic opera where song scenes alternate with dialogue. For Mezzo Marianne Crebassa, it's another pants roll, another challenge, and a new triumph. This is a complex character, theatrically speaking, because Fantasio dresses up as the court jester. He himself changes into another character inside the story. But also because inwardly, Fantasio is a multi-layered character. He can be contemplative, bold, but also disillusioned. Music brings out the emotion and the romantic side in Fantasio, whereas the spoken text shows his other side. Fantasio, the gang leader, the revolutionary and the anti-monarchist. What I put of myself in both him is both my spontaneous and playful side, but also my deeply melancholic side. Thomas Jolie, the stage director, who's also a successful actor, has brilliantly exploited the nuances in the composer's and therefore the character's personality. The Jacques Offenbach who composed this opera provides a different image of himself in this work, slightly darker, more intimate, a sort of acceptance of his condition as a human being. There's less humour, less brilliance, less amusement, but possibly more pensiveness and introspection too. And he actually changes the end of the play by de Musée that this opera is based on, and it turns it into an appeal to peace, a real hymn to it, coming from his true pacifist nature. I've had the pleasure to work with wonderful singers in this production, and like all great artists, they were humble and brave enough to leave aside their technique for a moment and their need to be efficient at all costs, which is typical of opera singers. On the other hand, they accepted to search, to risk, making mistakes, to test new things, as is more usual with stage actors. And I think that this different way of working, avoiding the need to be efficient all the time, has been a sort of relief for them. They had a chance not to be right immediately, and to do what you do when you create, you search, you experiment, you make mistakes, and then finally, as we're supposed to, you find a solution. I think that in Fantasio, you have to find the right colours in your voice. Particularly because it's two characters in one. On one side, there's the languid romantic element. On the other, in the case of the jester, the singing is more spicy. There are also some very dramatic, flamboyant moments with amazingly high pitches. More than just a singer, I really had to be an actress be truly bold and set aside all sort of modesty. 